Hello ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here. Welcome back to the Minecraft server. Today is Friday. This will be our last Minecraft video for a little while here. Um, as I will be leaving on Monday night for PAX West. Headed out to Seattle for the first time to check out a PAX West, what used to be a PAX Prime. Hang out with a bunch of Farlanders and... Stack members. Doesn't really roll off the tongue as well as Farlanders. Uh, but, uh, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a very good time. Oh wait, I need to actually, the first thing we're gonna do today is name our fish. Because the OSHA challenge is working out well. I forgot that I actually could see people donating to the Direct Relief campaign. Uh, because Tiltify keeps track of these things and I can say that it looks like everybody's made their OSHA donations, and thank you very much for joining in, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can build up a decent number again and start that today. <laughs> uh, Powers wanted to know, you know, was it really a workplace injury if it didn't take place at the workplace? Well, I think I mentioned this before, but I should probably capitalize these, huh? Photon burst. If I was injured, oh no 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 no! I just want one of these to be named that. <laughs> I think I was about to name them all that. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, photon burst. One. Yes. <laughs> uh, if I was to be injured because my workplace sent me somewhere and uh, you know put me to a task. And then on that task, I was injured. I would still say that was a injury thanks to the workplace. Wow, that broke really fast. That's only like the fifth thing I've done on that. Something weird happened with that anvil. I swear it took fall damage as I was placing it. Because unless somebody's been over here using my anvil, I have hard, I have done Virtually nothing with that anvil. Huh. I'm calling shenanigans. Calling shenanigans. Well, there's another anvil over there. We'll see if that one goes away super quick, too. That's really weird, unless they change the balance of those. Uh, which one was I on? I had done only three. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, if I got injured on the job, uh, even if it was at a remote location, uh, I would be mad, and I would file a, a injury report. So... I'm gonna say it counts. I'm saying it counts. Because that was that was a task I was doing related to this project. And by the way, this this OSHA thing, that that initiative is gonna go for the entirety of this project. Sorry that it's gonna go on a little bit of a break here as I go away for the trip, but we'll pick it right back up once I get back and keep adding days to that tally. Where was I? Let's see, anything else to really talk about as I just sit here naming name tags? Uh, today is Friday, like I said. I started recording F1 2018 last night. What a disaster that was. I really, really, really had a hard time. I, I have no better way of making it uh, obvious that uh, <laughs> I had a bad time with that. Six hours. Six hours of driving, basically, in order to get the game to work smoothly enough to record. I worried about this. Uh, we had so many issues with F1 2017 that I, I just had a feeling <laughs> those issues weren't going to be better in this game. Uh, the only thing that is better is that we're not the only ones this time. We're not the only ones saying things about it having issues. There we go, last one. Everybody's named. Sorry if I misspelled anyone's or typoed anyone's. Uh, you know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, I was very frustrating. It was the last thing I needed. I really, I didn't need another layer of frustration at the moment. And uh, that definitely added it. Um, so uh, the bummer for me was that, I don't know, it just because it was such a laborious task, 
I'm sure I wasn't at my sharpest. Uh, it was certainly not my sharpest commentary because by the time I actually got to recording the race, it was well past 2 a.m. And I had started that at 9 p.m. So uh, that's that's a long time. That is a long time to be, um, uh, you know, <laughs> A, doing commentary, and B, uh, it's a long time to stay, quote-unquote, on. So, uh, oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully it's still a success. And hopefully people enjoy it. Let's name a fish. I want one of these blue ones. They're a little bit hard to to uh, put your cursor on because they're moving around all the time. Some of them look bluer than others. Like that one looked really blue. All right, but once you name them, what I'm curious about, and you really got to get close to them to see that they're named. Okay, we have Yole Ole. That's funny. It, it put it put its name in the bucket. All right, so now I can do this. And I should be able to do that. Yep. And can we see that through the glass? We cannot. And Yole immediately hid. Well, that's not very Yole like. Yeah, I figured we wouldn't actually be able to see the names through the glass, but I wanted them to be named either way. <laughs> I don't know why, really. Because I'm silly. Alright, Sealand, I want to be uh, this one. Mm, got it. Yep. Alright, grab water. And then we'll grab the Doge. And Sealand, enjoy your time in the aquarium. Um, so, yeah, the next... Ooh, that water's glitching and freaking out the fish. I don't know why I just did that. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, the next three days for me, I'm going to spend trying to record a few of those videos. Uh, I'm doing a, a two-part endeavor. Who do I have here? Arnold RPG. You're gonna be... You're gonna be... That one. <laughs> Got him. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to record some of those for the trip and get that going. They're going to be two parters with a you know practice qualifying video and then a a race video. So if I can get two more races done, that that would get us well through the end of um, the end of the vacation. Got you over here. Is that the greenest one? I think that was the greenest one. I was looking for green fish in general, but there really wasn't any. That one was as close as I could get. Um, apparently now, when you catch fish in the next version, in the updated version that we're not on yet, uh, it does show you what kind of fish they are, which is much better. So, yeah, that will be that. Will be that. I'm excited. I, I do think it's going to be fun. Like, I... I am excited about the prospects of the, uh, <laughs> fish are pushing me around. I'm excited about the prospects of that career mode. I think that's going to be a good one. Uh, I feel like the balance is going to be good. Uh, I like that we're starting a little bit more mid-pack than we were in the, the previous seasons. And, I don't know, I just feel like I'm really in a good groove. Who do we got? Bessany. How about... This one. Time to grab water. Gotcha. And I'm gonna go sleep off the night so we don't have a workplace injury. <laughs> Good thing workplace injuries don't count in F1 because uh, a lot of workplace injuries happen <laughs> there, both in the in the game realm as well as the real world realm. Because a, I got a nice blister on my thumb, and b. I really wrapped my hand up in the, the spokes of the wheel at one point, which wasn't a lot of fun. Here it goes, and sleep off the night. Alright, and let's get back to naming our fish. I really like to uh I really like to get the entrance worked out today too, but maybe not. We'll see. Okay. So, how about the trip? I, I kind of briefly talked about it, but I didn't really talk about it a whole lot. So, I will be experiencing the Pacific Northwest for the first time. And I'm really excited about that because uh, I've had a good bit of 
I don't know how to describe it, but basically like cabin fever. <laughs> but not really cabin fever, more just like scenery fever. I'm I'm just have this this really strong desire lately to explore and see something other than what I see on a daily basis. And I don't know really what we have greater sky. Greater sky. How about is that a blue and gray one? It might be the same one as Yole's. How about oh the gray one? Sky is gonna be gray, <laughs> not sky blue. No nope, sky gray. And hopefully the skies aren't gray in Seattle where it was smoky, but apparently it's getting better. Um, but yeah, I just I really want to see new terrain and uh, go out exploring. I I don't I'm hesitant to use this phrase, but I think it might actually be a little bit, like, not midlife crisis-y, but just kind of like, um, uh, too long of stagnation crisis-y. I, I just feel like I've, I've lived too long to have explored so little, and I really have the desire to explore here. So, very thankful for the opportunity to get to do this. I'm excited to see all the people that are going to be there, but I'm also really excited about uh, getting to... Ooh, oh, I should have made Photon Burst the Pufferfish. Hmm, I'm worried about the Pufferfish attacking us under the glass, though. I might put the Pufferfish over in the regular pond. Just for lols. Which one? Well, I'm going to do that with the rest of the fish, anyway. In case anybody else joins in later. Alright, powers. Sorry, I never found an olive drab fish. <laughs> but you're going to be the pink and blue one. <laughs> That's a special fish. All right, there is everybody in the aquarium. We will block this back up once I get a block. Oh, I have one stone, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. All right, everybody, enjoy your new home here. Uh, I decided not to do the sea pickles under here. I might later, but I have a different, a different idea for the sea pickles that uh, I might experiment with. Okay, so let's transfer the rest of the fish over to, whoops, the uh, the main pond. I'll just grab some water. Because this spot isn't really a nice home for a fish. Uh, let's get more water. Another bucket there. I don't really have any steadfast plans for while I'm out there. Uh, okay, that's all of them. I just kind of want to experience, you know? And that's that's typically how I do things like this. It's weird because I like to plan like the the structured things of my life, like goals and aspirations and uh, tasks that I need to do. When it comes to that stuff, I kind of am a planner and I, I pretty much stick to my plans. But once it comes down to more of like a vacation, I don't really tend to be like that at all. I, I just kind of go with the flow. Uh, and I do think that is good. I feel like I can have a, a better time. Hey, Pufferfish, you're, <laughs> you're cool, but you're scary. Uh, I feel like I can have a better time not stressing out about the details of what I'm going to do. Um, some people might say that because I don't stress out about the details, maybe I'm missing out on stuff. Maybe because I'm not living to the fullest, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not working out the details of every little thing I could do on the vacation, you know, I might be missing things that I could have done if I had planned. Maybe, and, and I get that, I, I understand that uh, fully, but... I'm just a... Why would you do that? <laughs> I was nowhere near where I was looking at. Oh no. Oh dear. That didn't work very well at all. And I don't have Silk Touch on me. I'll work on that when I come back. <laughs> Somebody suggested I do that because uh, it will stop mobs from going down into there, but yeah, for the time being, I'm not too worried about that problem. We'll worry about that later. That's a no good. <laughs> I'm gonna basically redo that water to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not worried about the the details of, you know, min-maxing the trip. 
I guess I don't really min-max anything, do I? So, that shouldn't come as a huge surprise that I, that I wouldn't want to uh, do that on the trip. Or for a quote-unquote vacation. I don't really know where that factor came in. I know... I got some crafts down here. I'm trying to think of different looks for this entrance. Uh, I know, growing up, there there was certainly a divide <laughs> in our family. Uh, my mother, very much so the planner, and my dad, very much so more go with the flow. But I've noticed as he's gotten older, he's gotten more planny and uh, less go with the flow. And I think she's gotten more go with the flow. So uh, interesting that they're, they've kind of traded places there uh, with that. I don't know really why that happened or what, uh, what caused that to happen and maybe that influenced how I seem to be a little bit more go with the flow more than uh, more than you know super structured and planned. I'm trying to think of a cool block to put here for the transition. Hmm I don't think I want to do water. I don't think the cracked stone really is anything too amazing. It is a different texture, but it's really not that interesting looking. Hmm, what if I do the inverse stairs and do the gap uh, kind of like I was doing over there? Might be interesting looking. It is another block type, and I said I wasn't going to introduce more block types. So let me grab these oak stairs and just see what I think of those real quick. Hmm. So that would be pretty simple. You know, it's pretty simple, but it it kind of works. It's a nice transition. You know, it's a smooth transition between the oak lands <laughs> and into the stone realm. I don't mind that too much. But yeah, I'm kind of curious to hear what uh what your take is on vacations do you really structure it do you plan out every little detail or do you just go with the flow do you uh, you go out there with the idea of i want to explore and i want to just have a good time uh, whatever happens happens uh, or do you have do you have a agenda do you have a list of things you absolutely need to do <laughs> um because uh yeah, i certainly know people on, on both sides of that on that Fence. To me, I worry about saying this because I'm going to stress out people that I will be uh, joining on this vacation thingamajig. Not vacation. I, I need to find a, for this trip. Let's let's use trip. I don't know why I'm so adverse to using the word vacation. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so adverse to using the word vacation. I think it has to do with having worked in the retail world for so long. Uh, and vacation was a dirty word there. <laughs> this probably has something to do with it. But yeah, I, I'm... I, whenever I get, you know, into a situation where I'm with somebody or I'm hanging out with people that are extremely structured and, and need to plan out every detail, definitely stresses me out because um, I feel the need to conform to that. So really, I anymore I, I try to do my best to not let that happen and just kind of like I said go with the flow and, and work at you know my own pace or enjoy things at my own pace and leisure and if I need to relax for a day I'll relax for a day hmm. I know I'm worried that I don't really like the dirt and the stone exposed right here I might want to do something different and structurally it feels bad like just stacked up dirt like this that's that's not gonna stay in place that would never stay in place hmm all right i put my thinking cap on i think i have a couple ideas drawing some inspiration from stuff i've seen out in the real world and uh previous trips i guess i didn't really think about it but my old exploring avenue was traveling with the race team and uh, exploring new parts of the country based around racetracks and how much I really enjoyed that. I think that's where I got the itch. Uh, previous to that, I had never really done any traveling. But, that ruined that, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is knock out this. And I'm going to try the cobblestone walls at first. 
uh, and do it like this. And this is kind of a look that I saw out in the hills of the area around Road Atlanta where uh, the, the dirt banks, the roads are usually cut into dirt banks and it's loose clay. And that loose clay, you know, it has to have some kind of backing in order to not constantly want to erode down into the road. Erode into the road, uh, and this is very much so the look that that would have. So let's see what that looks like for us. I'm not going to do it on the stone. I'll leave the existing stone. I'm just going to support, just going to support the dirt. It's not a super intricate look. But it does, I like that you can see the dirt through it, like you can tell why it's there. Oh, I really like that it joins that, that's cool. Hmm. I might do something else with it too, to uh, design it up a bit, but I do think I like the the main idea there. Now that andersite can stay. It will never not be andersite. <laughs> never. Do this. See the other. I mean, the coolest place that I've been, and honestly, an area. It's. I mean, I, I really love the area around Road Atlanta, but I don't like the Atlanta area that much. Uh, but I did when I first went there. I was like, this is a place where I could see myself being in the future. Uh, you know, it's close to the south. It's close to where I grew up. Ish. Uh, I could travel there in a day. Uh, it seemed like a nice area. But an area that was really cool was the area around Barber Motorsports Park in Alabama, which if you had asked me before I made that trip if I thought Alabama would be a place that had, you know, beauty or interest, I would have said nah. <laughs> but actually it was a very cool area. It was really nice. Uh, it's, it's far up north and the weather is nice and the, um, the scenery is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really where I caught the itch, I suppose. The travel bug. Yeah, that looks much better. What I'm thinking is, what if I mix in? How do I want to do this? I was thinking about mixing in some spruce fence. Hmm, it doesn't join side to side. I thought it did. Maybe that changed? Oh, I think it's spruce. I think it's gates that will do that. That's the wrong tool. Boop. But yeah, overall, I just can't wait to experience the area. Like I said, I I got to experience, quote-unquote, some areas around um, uh, California, but I, I saw so little of it that I feel like I really didn't see much of anything of it. That's the gate, right? Just curious what it looks like. I'll just make one. What are you doing here? That's pretty neat. And I would do it probably like every other one, but that would cause a problem there, wouldn't it? No. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. But yeah, I can't wait to get back and and tell the tales of uh, what I saw and uh, people I met and all that good stuff. I'm excited. Feels good. I'll be happy when the, the actual traveling part is over. I'm still not a huge fan of flying. I mean, years ago I said, I'll never fly. I will never get on a plane. Uh, mostly because I was really concerned about the ear situation. Still a little bit concerned about that. I mean, I've only flown twice. Uh, sure, it was an issue those two times, but who's to say it won't be an issue now? But, I mean, we'll see. Uh, and, more than anything, it's the social anxiety parts of it that really uh, get to me. Having to deal with the general public and, like, the authority figures. I, I hate dealing with, like, uh, the TSA people and stuff like that, it just, that ramps up my anxiety so fast. Alright, well, super cool design, doesn't work here. But that's something I will totally use in the future. That is a very cool look. Uh, for a wall, I don't think it works well for our situation, though. So yeah, I'll keep that in mind in the future, but I don't think I like it here. Not a fan, I'm just gonna keep it solid. Uh, cobble walls. Do I like everything? The only thing I really am on the fence about is the dirt down there. That probably looks fine, though. Yeah. Got these sticking out being uneven? Hmm. <laughs> I know that's how it was. And the two sides themselves are not even. Resist symmetry! Alright, I'll do it, Beef. I'll do it. 
Just for you, Beef. Even though you obviously don't watch my videos. <laughs> Alright, the only other thing I want to try is pickles at the bottom of the sand. Or bottom of the sand. Bottom of the columns. I want to try... Oh, wait. Can those go on, um... Can those go on stone? Let me grab some pickles. Let me grab some pickles. There's a sentence I didn't think I'd say today. Yeah, I'm... I'm excited. Hope to see some people out there, and maybe people that are watching this. Oh, maybe you are just in the area. Looking forward to it. And then looking forward to uh, just kind of hanging out there after packs. I think that's... That's what really sold me on the idea. Uh, and is making me most excited about it. Is the, the idea that I can go there and have time to experience it. Uh, so I'm glad that my lovely, wonderful patrons and community have, have made that possible for me, because, uh, like mentioned, <laughs> certainly something I would say... Oops, no, it's gotta be on the... It's gotta be on the coral to do this. Uh, maybe I'll harvest them? I do. Oh, there was wasted bone meal. Oops, two wasted bone meal. Oh well. How many is that? Twelve. I think I need more than that. Let me go grab some more bone meal. Gee, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to hang out there and um, actually, like, spend time exploring. Hopefully, uh, be able to do some adventure stuff with Kurt. I would like to... I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm not planning, but there's you know, it's just things I have in mind that, like, oh, that would be cool to do. If there's time for it, we'll do it. Uh, like... You know, find racetracks. There's some pretty cool racetracks and stuff up there. And... Who made that noise? Oh, the pufferfish. <laughs> I forgot that he was in here. Could technically, could technically injure us and cause a workplace violation. It could. This is pretty easy farming. All right, where'd all the pickles go? Give me all them pickles. Twenty-one. That should be more than enough. Uh, I know some people that. Just live out there too, and hopefully they can join in. I really that we had that crazy idea that I was gonna roadkill this trip to Seattle. Uh, I was gonna drive to Texas. I was gonna meet Les Cubes. We were gonna get a car that had run in a long time. We were gonna drive it to Pax. <laughs> that was that was a crazy idea on the agenda. That's still something that I really want to do someday. Maybe not necessarily like. Um, do something, you know, roadkill worthy or or in that theme, uh, or maybe not even on something like a trip to PAX. Like, the problem with that, the only thing that bothered me with doing that was if something went wrong and we had to cancel, we had to, I had to like return home or whatnot, uh, would have been a huge letdown to people because, uh, you know, people were going specifically for PAX and to hang out with, you know, me and the crew. I didn't think about this problem. Javier, you'll like get get you'll lay. You'll lay. You'll get crushed. Don't you do it. No, you'll lay. <laughs> get in, Javier, no. Alright, what do I need to do? I need to place a block here. Uh and here actually. So that the water recedes. Why is the water not receding? Oh, because I broke it over there. Alright. No fish have been lost yet. Yep. Why? Why do they all want to be in this block? Move, Yole! <laughs> Move! Alright, Yole's out. Let me get sand. Okay, got it. Okay. And now I should be able to return to this? Oh no, there's no water flowing through this one. Of course not. Of course there's not. Well, nuts to that plan, I guess. That, um, that puts a damper on this idea. Because the fish could definitely still be getting into there. Why? Why do they want to group all right here? It's like they they had to be on that exact block. Hmm. I'm worried about the safety of our fish now. They take damage though. They 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 make sounds and they take damage. I didn't hear any of that, so I'm pretty confident we didn't lose anybody. Pretty confident. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty funny though. It was pretty funny. It's a shame you can't see their names through glass. I guess they like to school together. Is what they're doing. Okay. Well, 
Now what do I do? I like the pickles. They're cool, and I'm just gonna knock out these torches all together. Uh, I might have to do multiple pickles now for it to be light enough. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to do it carefully. <laughs> uh, that is all the time I have for today, though. So we will have to pick up this Piggly project when we get back. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll see you in a while. Um, if circumstances worked out and, and something, you know, um, if, if pieces fell together in a certain way, I might try to record one of these when I'm out there. We'll see, as kind of like a, a during trip update. I do plan on, on bringing my GoPro and laptop and stuff, so hopefully I can do some kind of vloggy situation while I'm out there. But other than that, we'll go move our, our workplace violation board up to one, and we will sign out, and I will see you all. Hi, Creeper. I'll see you all when we get rid of this Creeper. Really? Three arrows? Alright, he's gone. Oh, this is still gonna be a dangerous operation here. You gotta be real fast. Real fast, real fast, real fast. Uh. One. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Don't worry, Minecraft isn't dead. I'm not. Ending the series, I'm just going on a trip. Bye.